welcome back to Bri Society. Today we're showing you how to make these honeymoon themed luggage tags using your Cricut machine. So this tutorial is suitable for beginners, but I'm also showing you a couple of specific techniques such as how to crop an image using Design Space and also how to layer iron on vinyl. So I'm going to put the timestamps for those specific techniques in the description box below. So check those out if you're just wanting to skip ahead. But otherwise, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a like and hit subscribe for more content like this. So the first thing we're going to do is create this luggage tag design in Cricut Design Space. So once you've opened the program, you're going to come up to the top left corner and hit new, which creates a blank canvas for you. As you can see, I've already got my mock up here. So I'm just going to show you how I created this. So I'm just going to move over slightly so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I do is create myself a template shape that's the size of my product. Um, so I can see for sizing of lettering and spacing what it is I've got to work with. So to do that, you come over to shapes. And as you can see, you're a bit limited on what shapes you've got. And there isn't a rectangle here. But if you hit square, it will insert a gray square for you here. You can just click and drag that around. Now the magic is that there's this little padlock key here which allows you to unlock and resize your shape. So if you see, if you come over here to the bottom right corner with the little arrows, you can make this shape whatever you want. We're going to adjust the size of the square on your screen to match your luggage tag. So obviously your luggage tag will be slightly different from mine, so take your own measurements. But what you want to bear in mind is that the vinyl will have trouble sticking down properly around stitching. So make your measurements to fit inside that area. And again, avoiding the loophole area. So you don't want to measure all the way to the end. You just want to measure from the stitching to the loophole and make your rectangle that size accordingly. So for me, that means creating a rectangle that's 2.5 by 3.7. So I so said you can drag this around or if you want to be really accurate like that, you can come up to the top here where it says size and simply type in your measurements. Hit enter and you can just relock that padlock either up here or down here to maintain and hold that size again. So that is now my template that I'm working for to create my entire design to fit within. The next thing I'm going to do is add my text. So I'm going to hit this T text icon in the left hand corner. As you see, it brings up a add text here text box. I'm going to add these two items separately. So I'm going to start off with honeymooning. Okay, so as you can see, that is much bigger than I'm going to want it to be for my tag. You can use these arrows in the bottom corner to resize as you wish. I also want to change the font that this is in. So to do that, I am going to come up to this top left corner where it says font. I'm going to select the down arrow. I'm going to search by the ones in my system. Now I know I want a certain font, so I'm just going to search for that. So as you can see, that's now in my chosen font. What I'm now going to do is make sure that the operation up here is set to basic cut, not draw or anything else, because we are going to cut this. And then what I'm going to do is change the color. So I'm going to select this sort of yellowy gold color because I want to cut this out of gold vinyl ultimately. So I want design space to know which colors I'm cutting together. I'm going to resize this a little further and move it into position. Once you're happy, you're just going to repeat the same process for the Mr. or Mrs. I've already got a Mrs. over here, so I'm going to do Mr.
Now that you've got your text sorted, what I'm going to do is select both of these items. So I'm going to do that by clicking and then on my computer holding the command key to also select honeymooning. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom right hand corner and hit attach. This means that when you come to cut it on your mat, it will hold this spacing so you don't have to try and line them up separately if you're happy with how you've got it spaced right now. You don't have to do that, I just find it one step less to worry about later on. Okay, once you've done that, we're gonna move on to trying to create this cropped palm tree image in the background. So I've already selected and uploaded a palm tree into my system. So I'm just gonna drop in another palm tree just quickly. You see it's slightly massive right now. So let's just shrink this down. So this is the image I started with and this is what we want to turn it into because obviously it's going to, we're going to iron this on and it's going to hit the edge of the luggage tag so we, we can't have it overhanging in this way. So first of all I'm going to change the colour because I'm going to cut this in a green vinyl so again to keep things nice and clear I'm just going to switch that to green. Now I'm going to move it into the position I want it ultimately to be on my design. So I'm just gonna send this image backwards so that I can check I'm happy with the positioning and that kind of thing ready for my cut. So I just right clicked on my mouse and I'm gonna hit move backward. Okay, so it's now behind both items of text and I'm quite happy with that layout. I'm now ready to essentially crop this image but Cricut doesn't currently have a crop tool per se. So to achieve that, we're gonna use the slice function. So I'm going to select my tree, and again, I'm gonna hold down the command key, and I'm gonna select the background like luggage tag shape, okay? You'll now see down here in the right hand bottom pane that the slice function is now become available to click. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so looks a bit different, but what you'll notice is that now this is can be removed and deleted. So I'm just gonna hit the delete key. That's now gone. Now, the next thing is I don't need over here this black outline. So again, I'm just gonna select that and hit delete. The other thing I don't now need is the luggage tag shape itself because I've created everything I wanna create. So you can just pull that away, remove it, and again, hit delete. Okay, so again, it looks a little funny now, but this doesn't matter. You can fuss with it and send this to the back as we had it before, and you see this would be your layout. This doesn't matter because the yellow text is going to be cut separately from the green and you're going to layer it onto your project separately. So how these sit with each other now with the yellow and the green really doesn't matter. So now we're just gonna hit make it in the top right hand corner. So as you can see, all your images have been sorted onto the two mats and because we attached this image, it's holding the spacing and the distance that we set up before, which just makes it easier for transfer. It will place it in the most efficient place possible on your mats. You can still move around in this view though if you want to position it differently, if you're using sort of scraps of uh, leftover vinyl, etc. It's going to do your gold vinyl cut first, your foil iron on vinyl, if you're using the same stuff as me. You want to come over here and switch on the mirror function because it's iron on vinyl. And again, you can go ahead and set that up for your palm tree as well. So again, just flicking on the mirror function. And we're gonna come back up to the first one and we're ready to make our cut. So you'll see a choice of materials pop up here. I'm using the Cricut Maker. So you can see my machine is connected already. If yours isn't, you should do that now. And then select your material. So as I say, we're cutting the gold first, which is the foil iron on vinyl. So you see, I've got some favorited here. If yours isn't already here, you can just select browse on materials and select it from that list. But as you see, I've got foil iron on already selected. 
And now you're ready to load in your fine point blade. So we're gonna load our blade into clamp B. So you just open it up, grab your blade. So it's the fine point one. So it's the one with the almost barely there point. Okay, and then we just pop it in the top here. Close the clamp like so. And it just locks it into place. Next you need to prepare your mat. So cut your vinyl. Grab your standard grip mat and then stick your vinyl down with the backing side face down so the, the vinyl side face up. So you want to cut through the actual vinyl, not the backing carrier sheet. You're going to press this flashing arrow button that will pull in the mat. And when you see the Sea Cricket logo flashing, you're ready to make your cut. You're now ready to cut your second mat. So if you come over to the left and just hover over the mat, you can see where you need to place the vinyl onto this mat because you're likely reusing the same mat. So you've removed the vinyl from the mat and now you're placing the new green everyday iron-on vinyl onto this mat. You do need to come back up to number one up here to change the material if you're using something different like I am. And again, just the same process of choosing it from the list. So I'm over here with everyday iron-on, so I'm just gonna select that there. And the rest is the same, just making sure that you've got mirror switched on over there, and now you're ready to make your cut. So next up, we're going to use our weeding tool to remove what we call the negative space from our project. So this is the stuff that we do not want to be transferred onto our vinyl design. You do this for the entirety of the two vinyls. So I recommend grabbing hold of your luggage tag and removing anything that's sort of sticking up or out so you can get it as flat as possible so that the heat press can make the best seal possible. Now, if like mine and probably like most, you'll find obviously inside, because it's a luggage tag, there's a piece of plastic and card inside. Just for caution so we don't melt that plastic or anything, I just pull those out for the duration of this and then put it back in afterwards okay so we're not risking melting anything or anything like that that we don't want to do so the next thing we need to do is figure out what heat we need our heat press to be on so if you grab your heat press and we'll head over to the website i'm on cricket's website and as you can see here they've got their heat guide so you can put in exactly which machine and what transfer material you're using to get the temperatures that you need to set your machine to so i have the cricut easy press 2 that's what i'm going to use the heat transfer material for me because we're starting with the palm tree this is the green thing um i'm using everyday iron on so i'm selecting that my base material is there, faux leather, and I have the Cricut Easy Press mat, and then just hit apply. I want that in centigrade, so I'm just sliding that button across. So as you can see there, it tells me to preheat the leather for five seconds and set my machine to 140 degrees C for 30 seconds with light pressure and removing when it's cool to the touch. Now, because I'm layering the vinyl, 
I'm only going to do this for 15 seconds. And then my next layer will be for the full time. But obviously that's a different material. So you'll come back to this page and adjust for your new materials for the second layer. So you're supposed to heat your material for five seconds before you make the transfer. So just to protect this faux leather, I'm going to do that with this protective sheet on top. Okay, now you can position your first layer of vinyl. So my tree is going on first. So you just want to position that wherever you want it. Having preheated it, it will make it slightly tacky so it will sit in place while you make this manoeuvre. Bring your heat resistant paper back across and place your easy press on top. So hopefully that should be long enough for it to take to the surface but not so long that we're going to continue to like melt it down once we put the other layers on. This is cool touch remove. So right now you just need to step back, take a minute and just let it cool down. Now that your backing sheet is nice and cool, we're going to slowly peel that back. Now make sure you do this nice and slowly just in case it hasn't taken to the surface, in which case you just replace the backing sheet back down and press for a little longer. As I say, we only, because we're layering, we only did this first layer for 15 seconds rather than the full 30. So you just want to halve the time because obviously it's going to continue to get heated with the subsequent layers that you're putting on. You now need to adjust your easy press settings to the new material. So this is foil vinyl, so it's a bit more sensitive. And as you can see, it recommends 125 degrees C for 30 seconds. So I'm just going to make that adjustment. Because this is my final layer, I'm going to do it for the full time. Now I'm just going to allow that to adjust to the temperature. So these are going to be my next layer and I'm going to do them at the same time. Now, if you followed my instructions when we were working in design space, these will be attached like so. That means you could have just laid it on and done it all in one piece and it would line up nice and easily. But if you didn't do that, or you've just got multiple things in different places that you want to attach, it doesn't matter. You can just have them cut separately like this and position them individually, which is what I'm going to do to show you this time. But say, if it's all one piece, you'll just lay it down as one piece. So because our first layer of vinyl was cool peel, we had to leave this to cool down entirely. So it means we're going to have to preheat the surface again. So we're just going to bring this heat resistant sheet back over and preheat it for a few seconds. Now we're going to position each of our texts. Once you're happy with your position, bring the heat resistant paper back over and heat for the full time. Again, this is cool peel, so we're just now going to leave this here until it's done. <laughs> 